uh, about that incident in the last issue... You mean when you totally murdered that guy? Don't worry, I made sure the contract we signed protected us in case of death or injury caused by lack of competence. Oh, thank God. Captain, I'd love to chat more, but you've got next month's issue to deal with, and I'm busy trying to line up our next job, so if you don't mind, get lost. Smiley! Oh, man, I saw how you totally wasted that dude. I was cold-blooded. I mean, I've done some wild stuff in my day, but that was loco, bro. Oh, uh, thank- I mean, no, that, that was a total- And don't forget me, Brad! I'm the one that told him to shoot, yeah! Remember? Yeah, anyway, you're still a dweeb. So don't get too cocky, all right? I just thought I'd make your day by giving you a Brad lament. You get it? Brad? Compliment? I put them together. suck up of all time <laughs> just ignore him everyone he's on antidepressants let's hurry up and do this I gotta take a huge power dump when I get back what you're not even capable of doing that oh yes I am Isn't that the guy you killed? if it weren't for you. Hey, maybe he's got kids. You think about that? I'd rather not. When they grow up, they're gonna want revenge. So? We gotta kill them. What? The sons for sure. You can't be too careful these days. You probably have to kill at least one of the daughters too. Are you insane? Outlander. Yeah? Oh, uh, yes, Nordia. Uh, right, hi, uh, how are you? I thought you came here to aid Manok. No, oh, no, 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 we were just leaving, honest. Then hurry. I fear for Nanok. Our efforts may already be in vain. Forgive us, cousin. 
Our steeds were burdened by the heavy hearts of their riders. What news have you of the search for the scoundrel who took the life of our king? Oh, you mean this guy? Birdman. <laughs> guys are in this tribe? Isn't this a little ridiculous? Yeah, the tribes have probably made peace and came together to destroy you. We're killing one of their own, remember? Now that you're a medallion, I'm so tossing you off a cliff! <laughs> If I had hands, I would choke you for even saying that. Do you know how much Manny Pennies cost? Luckily, I don't. Oh, more of these stupid things. This is all John Hammond's fault. Who? Never mind. Just shoot. <laughs>
such a pain to get to anything in this comic. Too much climbing. Luckily, you work out your forearms a lot, so you at least have the muscle capacity to grip on tight. I hope one of these vultures pecks your eyes out. <laughs> Is this just a mini golf course? <laughs> Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> Button master, I should have known. Good morning, Captain. No doubt you're wondering what I am doing here. See, due to your recent imbecilities, I found myself bereft of employment. Funny, but these industry sorts simply fail to see the vast diabolical potential of the most evil sport conceived by man. Uh, dodgeball? No, you idiot! Miniature golf! Ah, but then I found this place. Nerthus. For these primitive people, I am a god, and mini golf a religion. A gun has no strength here, but a signature putter? Observe. Come to me, child. Normal golf. You see, boy, that is true power. If other comics won't have me, then I shall have them. Gaze upon what will be the largest mini golf course ever conceived by man. Colonel Putt Putt's Golf and Fun Zone. Oh, great name, Shakespeare. Really rolls off the tongue.
Get a marketing person. And with the vast revenues I receive from other comic characters paying to play here, along with cart rental fees. Cart fees? I thought real golfers walk. It's 180 holes, you fat-headed worm. Besides, I had all their riding beasts destroyed to provide enough glue for the Area 51 hole. It used a lot of glitter. Regardless, soon I will be a mega gazillionaire and will be able to buy my own comic. Ah, but I've no more time to palaver. I'll leave you to contemplate what you have heard on the tea of woe. Top top. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find him so we can show him where to stick that driver of his! trying to kill us and stuff. Star, Putt Master is ruining a beautiful land. Shame on you, fool. You're just saying that because you think Norgia will take you more. Think it'll work? Um, yeah, actually it might. <laughs> Temple up ahead! Page turn! What has become of you? I have become my displacement. I play 27 holes of miniature golf every day. That's not really much cardio, especially if you're using a cart. Bah! Golf is very physical indeed. <laughs> indeed! So I have become girthsome? It is not for you to question my judgment. 
I am Nanok! <laughs> Who is the Outlander you bring with you? He is the Smiley Chieftain. I brought him here to free you so you could wage conflict against the Ball-Eyed One. The Ball-Eyed One? Why should I wage conflict with him? He gives me honeyed hams, brittled peanut confections, beautiful sweetmeats. He even gives me a horse's chariot so I may be active and independent even though he He enslaves your people! I do not see why this is my concern. Look, take it from me. A guy named Puttmaster cannot be trusted. Smiley Chieftain! It vexes me when Outlanders question my charge. By the sand drops of Hyperia! You shall fall by my hands! to borrow something of yours. Oh, no! Oh, and don't worry, Nanok. The next shipment of those zesty nacho cornmeal snacks you so enjoy arrive on the morrow. Good day, gentlemen. 